Attorney General Professor Gidu Mwigai just this morning handed over boxes of important information to the Swiss ambassador in the joint investigation on the Anglo leasing scandal. Swiss authorities are expecting to probe some companies in Switzerland on the illegal flow of money that would lead to the, uh, prosecution. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission officials also intimated that the investigations could be coming to an end. Now the move comes even as Anglo leasing suspects Deepak Kamani and brothers went to court seeking to stop the Kenyan government from releasing any information to the Swiss authorities. There is every intention to get to the bottom of this problem and we do hope that in the very, very near future, the Kenyan people will see uh, the outcome of these collaborative processes. They are investigating five live files, five live <coughs> cases. Uh, therefore, it, in the fullness of time, and this morning they have assured me to use the language I have heard from them, it, they are on the tail end, end of quote, tail end of the investigation. A few years ago, a request for legal assistance was uh, um, introduced in to, to Switzerland by the Republic of Kenya. I think we delivered. Now it's Kenya's turn, and believe me, uh, I'm quite sure that any new request from one of the two sides will be, will be answered uh, properly and swiftly, as has been the case uh, today. And we shall continue to cooperate with any partner that requires um, any information or any assistance in regard to investigations that touch on our country.